Most of us were taught that there are generally three phases of matter, solids, liquids, and gases. But did you know that there are also intermediate phases called liquid crystals? At certain temperatures, some materials become liquid crystalline, which means they tend to flow like a liquid, but have some of the optical properties of a solid due to the ordered arrangement of their molecules. Liquid crystals can be found both in the natural world and in technological applications. First discovered in 1888, we now know of several liquid crystalline phases, each with unique characteristics and applications. Lyotropic liquid crystalline phases are found in living systems such as proteins and cell membranes. Thermotropic phases occur in a certain temperature range. The three most common types are cholesteric, smectic, and pneumatic. Cholesteric liquid crystals reflect different wavelengths of light based on their pitch and are used for mood rings, thermometers, and some displays. Smectic liquid crystal molecules form layers, much like soap. And pneumatic liquid crystals can be aligned by an electric field, which makes them very useful in modern liquid crystal displays on cell phones, calculators, portable computers, and flat screen televisions. So as you can see, liquid crystals are almost everywhere. Our researchers at the Liquid Crystal Institute at Kent State University continue to learn more about the exciting world of liquid crystals every day. Learn more and become a part of the innovation at Kent State University at www.kent.edu lci.